My name is Jesse Bedencourt, and today I will be talking about Boyds, a dance with friends and enemies. Boyds were first defined by Craig Reynolds in his 1987 paper, Flocks, Herds, Schools, a Distributed Behavioral Model. In this paper, Reynolds defines a flock of Boyds as a collection of objects which exhibit polarized, non-colliding, and aggregate motion. This gives the impression of intentional, centralized control for the flock, but this is actually emergent complexity from the interaction between individual Boyds. So, to simulate these complex flocking behavior, we only need to simulate the individual behavior of the individual Boyds, such that they avoid collision, match the velocity, and stay close to their nearby flockmates. This produces a recognizable representation of natural behavior, and it is similarly delightful to watch. However, the Boyds I am visualizing are not that original paper, but rather a 2013 post on the Wolfram Community Forum by Simon Woods, where he uses expensive math software for frivolous entertainment by describing the simple Boyd interaction rules as a series of dance steps. The dance with friend Friends and enemies are as follows. 1,000 dancers assume random positions on the dance floor. Each randomly, randomly chooses one friend and one enemy. And at each step, every dancer moves a little bit closer to the center of the floor, takes a large step towards their friend, and a small step away from their enemy. Also, at random intervals, one dancer will rechoose their friend and their enemy. Here you can see the original dance in very terse Mathematica. I just want to show this because most of the complexity is actually just linear algebra, but Mathematica makes it very nice to visualize and interact with these elements. In Julia, I prefer things a little more ver verbose and easy to understand, so I create a Boyd type that contains the position and the velocity of each Boyd. Then I teach them to fly. Now this is just the linear algebra, same as the Mathematica code, but with slightly cuter notation. Aiming tells a Boyd how to point to another Boyd. Flapping will update the internal velocity of the Boyd, and flying will transfer that velocity into a change in position. I also introduce a type to keep track of the global information of the dance. This includes a vector of Boyds, called the flock, as well as a vector of integers for the friends and enemies corresponding to each Boyd. I introduce a constructor to initiate the default dance described on the Mathematica post. Now a dance with friends and enemies in Julia is as simple as using that constructor to initialize 1000 Boyds with random friends and enemies. I also define a dance step for the dance, which has every Boyd aiming at their friends, enemies, and the center, and taking the appropriate steps towards each. To introduce randomness into the dance, at random intervals, one dancer will rechoose their friends and enemies. An equivalent way to say this is that every dance step, k dancers choose new partners, where k is sampled from a Poisson distribution. To interact with and visualize our dancing flock, we use Mackie.jl. Instead of creating a new plot for every frame of the animation, Mackie allows us to wrap the objects that we want to animate with Mackie.node which will allow us to efficiently update existing plot elements rather than expensively generating a new plot for every frame. Here we can see that I wrap the dots corresponding to each void in the flock with a node so that when they change their position, the plot will update dynamically. I can also add interactive plot elements to the scene which allow us to update the internal parameters of the dance, such as the step size towards the friends and the enemies, and display these sliders in the scene. Finally, to view the animation, I can simply put all of this into a for loop. Also, I can record it directly to a video using a very handy record function. So here you can see the entire dance in one uh, do, do block. Let's interact with the dance now. Here we can see a dancing flock with default parameters. In the bottom left, I have the interactive plot elements that Mackie provides.
For instance, I can make all of the, the voids move towards the center of the dance floor by increasing the step size. I can also adjust how frequently the voids change their partners. I can make them take larger steps towards their friends. And larger steps away from their enemies. I can also zoom in and out 